everybody. Uh, thanks for watching another one of these videos. Um, hopefully, they'll just encourage you and help you. I want to talk to you today a little bit about serving and uh, what that means. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, read from 1 Peter chapter 4 and uh, 10 and 11 says, each, As each has received a gift, so we all have gifts, use it to serve one another. Isn't that interesting? As good stewards of God's varied grace, whoever speaks as one who speaks the oracles of God, whoever serves as one who serves by the strength that God supplies, in order that in everything God may be glorified thoroughly through Christ Jesus. To him belong the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So what 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 Paul or Peter is saying there, I'm sorry, is is to serve like like it is like you are just the best of that, like you're the best at that. Whatever area you serve in, serve like you are just the primo champion servant of all. And, and just know it because God's with you. And that's really the way God sees you. So I want to encourage you to begin to serve uh, in the church as well. Find an area where you can help others and serve people there. Serve with kids or serve in youth or serve in the worship team or serve with the sound team or ushers or greeters or cleaners or whatever area uh, you feel is a good thing. When you jump in and serve, what you're saying is, yes, Lord Jesus, just like you came to serve us, I'm here to serve the rest of these people as well. I'm going to use my gifts and my talents to serve. And it doesn't matter um, what if you're the greatest speaker of all time. You know, when we jump in and serve, man, it's really awesome. I'll, I'll give you an example. I was um, at a friend of mine's uh, church. And I was speaking there. I was in another state and I was there speaking. And then after we were done speaking, he needed to uh, to put in and install a bunch of bass trim in a house. And I said, man, let me go with you. And so after the meetings were done, the next day we got up in the morning on Monday, went to that house and just started slapping bass trim in like there's no tomorrow. And I know how to do that stuff. He knows how to do it. We have the equipment and that's serving. So we're not just there, even even someone like myself, to just walk in someplace like royalty or a celebrity or something and just expect everyone to bow down is ridiculous. Um, but picking up that hammer and grabbing that nailer and going and serving in that church with those people really is a, a place of honor before the Lord. And I'm going to tell you right now, God honors that heart and he honors that mindset. And I serve people in their ministries as well. I, I will do anything in the church. It doesn't matter what it is. I take out trash. I will mop up, sweep up. I will watch kids. I will discipline children. It doesn't matter what it is in the church. If you need it, I will grab music stands and mic cables and stands. I'll set up. I'll set anything up that anybody needs. It does not matter to me. Uh, a title and position does not exclude me from that. I enjoy serving because Jesus came to serve me. And he's the greatest example of that. And so it's an honor for me to pick up something to serve someone else, just like Jesus did. So I want to encourage you, you know, in the church, uh, find an area to serve because you are becoming more Christ-like the more you do that. So I hope that helps you. Be blessed in that. Um, I want to see you come and talk to somebody in church that leads something and say, how can I help? And be blessed in that. And I know you're going to love it. So thanks for listening.